Hello and welcome to Let's Blink Today, where we spin the preterm wheel of random to see what we do today. And I'll have to apologize about the audio for this video. Uh, moving studios again, and this one's a little bit empty, and it might be a little bit echoey. Um, I'm going to try to fix that in post, but if it does come through uh, afterwards, I am apologizing about that for now. But this is a video that can't wait for me to get my uh, studio set up and finished. And the reason why, it's that time of month. We got our gamer block in. So once again, we got another rated E uh, gamer block. So standard black case, green stripe, purple if it's the M. And it feels kind of full and the lid just kind of wants to pop off. It doesn't want to open. So we're opening it up and I already see what the shirt is. Another Zelda, but looks fun and amazing and better than that so let's slide this to the side and we got a sentry turret uh series three new cube and sphere so looks like this turret is not a replacement for home security systems okay so uh either we're getting one of some one of these or it's a turret a cube and a sphere uh, most likely it's going to be one of these, so regular sentry, red, yellow, a lightning, a snake skin, a peacock. We got a weighted storage cube, an active weighted storage cube, the companion, the active companion. We have Whitley, the space sphere, the fact sphere, um, Whitley, uh, when Whitley met GLaDOS, the original companion cube and Hoopy, and then the uh, Potato OS in Nest with Crow. So, why don't we open this up. Oh, I got it taped. Not sure if that blue dot has anything to do with it. Oh, let me grab a handy X-Acto knife. Careful when using an X-Acto knife so you don't cut yourself. Cut the tape, pop it open, and we have a sphere. And from what I can guess, this looks like the space sphere. So, kind of cool, nice detailing. Paint's pretty good, but coming off, which is weird. Uh, but ragged and jagged in some of the mold spots but otherwise pretty good detailing uh kind of cool uh kind of wish there was a pedestal stand for it because as a sphere well i guess it stands pretty nicely too so we're not uh inhibited by this pedestal so we can set it either way or just have it fly so fun cool little sphere uh so yes, it's one of whatever these are, and we got that. So, next up is a collapsible window shade. Oh, evil plastic. Okay, get rid of the plastic. So, ooh, we got two for one. Oh, mounting. So, these are the car window shades that have the Hyrulean symbol on them. So the green and gold. And yep, there's at least a third one, if not a fourth one somewhere. So we have suction cups that we can either yeah we grip them with and you stick them on. Let's see if they make some nice sound buffering. Give us some more uh Get rid of some of that echo. Maybe. Huh. Kind of. Somewhat. Yeah. It won't stand there. We'll set it there. We'll put these away for now. Let's get rid of this other trash. And the next thing. So this is a very Zelda heavy themed. Official Nintendo licensed product. So we got an official Nintendo poster. Ooh. Ooh, this is another cool one, just like they did with the uh, Super Mario Kart. 
Uh, this is Super Mario Brothers 3. And if I if memory serves, this is some main image either on the uh, instruction booklet or the main box or card itself. I know the box and card should at least have the Mario, if not more of this. But this is kind of cool. Great to put up on the wall. Fun, cool image. And let's keep this whole because that's going to go up. And so, more Legend of Zelda. So, this looks like it is a Skyward Sword. Because, so, yeah, we got the Skyward Sword Zelda, or Link. Zelda, the Master Sword Spirit. I haven't played this game, so I don't know her name. And uh, Valdi, I think, might be the villain of this one. Or somebody I just don't know the name of. But, nice size cup. Um, Let's say the size... Do not microwave, cold liquids only, hand wash only, 14 plus. I do not see a size. Uh, if I had to guess, probably a 20 ounce cup. So it's a nice size cup. Um, not small, not large, pretty good. So we got our booklet. Uh oh, I am not seeing a pin this time. Might be in the shirt. But our game this time is Fragments of Him. Fragments of Him is a narrative game played in the first person. Story revolves around a tragic accident in the life of the victims and his loved ones before and after the incident. So this is one that's going to make you think. Um, I'm kind of surprised something like this is in the rated E box. This seems like it's uh, would have been meant as an E game, might be a T rated T game. Um, but hey, this looks like a fun game. Uh, I'll have to check it out and get back to you with it. So, yeah, that's it for our box. I just have the hangers for the shields, as well as our shirt. Let's see if I can get it open for us to see everything. So we have arrows, a stick, fairy in a jar, hook shot, a uh, heart container, orc arena, we got sword, the key, boss key, some regular hearts, a bomb, the deku shield, triforce boomerang, hammer, uh, some rubies, and the slingshot. And if I had to guess, this would be all orc arena of time based. If not, uh, Link's Awakening, maybe? Or one of the other games that had an Orc Arena? I don't remember which ones do have Orc Arena or not. But those are the two that come to mind when I see the Orc Arena and I see the style and coloring of these. Would be Orc Arena of Time or Link's Awakening. Let's see if this sheds any details on what we have and what we're missing. So, we got our two-pack Zelda Sunshades, our turret blind box, our poster, our cup, our game, and a shirt of holding. Ah, uh, uh, how exactly does one favorite Hyrule keep all of their uh, essential items at hand? It's a mystery to us all to show off the great stuff. Uh, you gotta get, you, uh, uh, you've got, you, you get in your pocket with the exclusive T design so yes so it's not specifically from anything but if I had to guess most of the models look like that of Orc Arena of Time maybe because of the coloring Link's Awakening and next month's theme is run and it is showing off our Sonic looks like a Sonic stage probably in anticipation of Sonic Mania that I believe is coming out uh, information about that, uh, Sovereigns, Camp Sunshine, that looks kind of interesting, Doctor Who official block, um, every other month get a brand new ex assortment of handcrafted timey warming exclusive you won't find anywhere else. And then the Valor box, so... This time it didn't come with a badge, which I feel kind of weird, um, seeing that, what, this is our fourth gamer block, and the first three, at least for the ones that we have, had come with a pin button, and a really nice one too, that said the theme, and that 
because their magazine doesn't tell the theme of the next month all the time, you can rely on that button to tell the theme. So, but if I had to guess, it's probably Zelda Breath of the Wild type stuff, Nintendo, uh, with Portal. So, kind of hard to say with what we got in this. So, hey, another fun box. Uh, cool shirt, even though it is a Zelda. Uh, I have way too many of them. Uh, well, I thought I was wearing a Zelda shirt, but I'm not. I'm still wearing one of the other uh, arcade block shirts. Or Yeah, this one came from a nerd block. Um, but yeah. Da -da -da -da. So, until next month with our next gamer block, or until next week with another fun video that I'll have, I'll see you next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe all down below, and I really can't wait to hear from you. So bye.